All right, everyone, today's video is talking about diet for your new puppy the first few days home in the first couple weeks. Um, basically, what you want to know about diet is the very first week, you need to leave the food out 100% of the time because this is the week that's stress and transition for your puppy and you want to make sure to prevent hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is low blood sugar and sometimes when these puppies leave they get stressed because they've le you know, left the litter mates, they've left mother, their whole world has been turned upside down and they're a little bit disoriented and they get home and they just kind of refuse to eat. And if they've been traveling for any length of time, uh, and they refuse to eat when they arrive at your new house, their blood sugar can drop and they can go into what we call hypoglycemic shock. So they go into shock, they have a seizure, and sometimes it can even result in death. So we wanna make sure that the puppies are eating as soon as they get home. So what I want you to do your first night home is offer the puppy food that you've bought and we feed all of our puppies Nutrisource dog food and if you've purchased a miniature or a petite puppy, you wanna buy the small medium breed puppy food in the chicken and rice formula, which can be found either at Menards or you can go to www.nutrisourcedogfood.com. Uh, click on the Nutrisource logo, click on where to buy and enter your zip code and you'll find local distributors in your area. Otherwise, we can add a bag if you're picking up your puppy. If your puppy is fine, we can't add a bag to your purchase. Um, so make sure you have the first bag ready when your puppy arrives home. So the very first night, if your puppy refuses to eat from the stress of traveling, I want you to go ahead and boil a little bit of boneless skinless chicken breast and I want you to just take one tablespoon of the boiled chicken dice it up and mix it into their food no dog can resist the smell of boiled chicken and this will cause your puppy to not be able to resist the food and eat that first meal home and keep the blood sugar up so that's very important and you can use the little boiled chicken trick anytime you want if you're worried that your puppy's not eating enough. But then that first week, leave your food out all week so your puppy knows that it's always there and that they can access it at any time and keep their blood sugar up. You don't need to worry that your puppy is not eating enough as long as you see that the puppy is accessing its food bowl and snacking a little bit here, snacking a little bit there. If your puppy's eyes are bright, the energy level is good, and your puppy's running around and playing, you have nothing to worry about. Um, starting week two, then you can start doing scheduled feeding and why would you want to do scheduled feeding to give you some predictability when the stools may be coming puppies tend to run that food through their system pretty quickly within about 45 minutes after they eat and you might start to see some predictability in when the stools come and that will aid you in your potty training efforts so I want you to start off with these small dogs four times a day um, and I forgot to mention that if you're if you purchased a standard dog then you want to purchase um, Nutrisource large breed puppy just want to clear clear that up um, in the chicken and rice formula so start off feeding your puppy four times a day and I would do that at the same time every day an example of that would be like 8 noon 4 and 7 30 p.m. Um, put the food, you can do one of two ways. You can either read the back of the bag and follow a pretty rigid schedule. Um, otherwise, you can just fill up the food bowl, a cup or two at, at best, leave it down for 10 minutes, and then after 10 to 15 minutes, pick it up. Well, how do you get your puppy to eat that food in that 10 minutes that the bowl is down? You can use a little chicken trick. Again, just about one tablespoon of boiled chicken, mixed in, served warm, and that permeating smell will cause your puppy to eat during that 10 minutes. So four times a day for scheduled feeding until your puppy is five months of age. At five months of age, you can cut it back to three times a day. And again, you would just choose either to read the back of the bag or put it down for 10 to 15 minutes and allow them to eat during that time and then pick it up. And they'll know that when the food comes down that it's time to eat. Um, so do five three times a day at five months of age and then at a year it's just twice a day typically morning and evening and you can switch to the adult dog food at that time. Please make sure that you keep the water bowl um, fresh and clean 
and cold, especially in the summer months, and you don't want any slime around the inside of the bowl. If the water quality doesn't look like it's good enough for you to drink, then it's not good enough for your puppy either. So fresh, cold, clean water will do wonders for your puppy and they love that. So that's typically how you feed your puppy the first year at home. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email in or ask. And as long as your puppy's gaining weight at each vet appointment, you're off and running and you're doing it, you're, um, you're in a good start. And as long as there's that increased weight gain, you're fine. If the vet says that you need to switch anything, um, if the puppy is too thin, then the, pup, the, the vet will advise you to feed your puppy more. If it's getting too heavy, your vet can make recommendations how to slim your puppy down a little bit. Um, I think that's all that I need to say about diet and feeding. I'm trying to think, I thought I had one more lingering thought, but I can't think of it at this time. Um, if you choose uh, to go with a different dog food, we do recommend that um, you start with your second bag of dog food because anytime you switch a dog's dog food, they can get diarrhea and it can really upset them. So we want you to start with your puppy with the first bag of Nutrisource dog food, which is a high quality dog food. It passed all the tests, it's 32% protein. If you can afford dog food for the whole first year or the Nutrisource dog food the whole first year, do keep them on Nutrisource. But if you have something that you want to use that you like better or that your other dog is using do make the switch after the set the first bag and then switch them very gradually like a 75 percent nutrisource ratio to 25 percent your new dog food do that for several days then go 50 50 for several days and then you can do 25 percent nutrisource and 75 percent your other dog food but just be aware that when you switch their dog food they can um get a little upset and have a little diarrhea. So uh, take those tips to the bank and we hope you have a wonderful first year feeding your puppy. Thank you so much.